everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're starting a whole new series of videos. It's my Halloween challenge and I call it my four biggest fears. This is really personal and I also think it's going to be a kind of a challenge for myself mentally because um, you know it's hard to face your own fears and to like paint them on your face is like literally facing them, right? Okay, so the first fear that I'm going to face is <clears throat> the fear of drowning. So, I don't know, the older I get, the more panicking it is for me to be like in an ocean or in a lake where you cannot see... It's just this feeling, you know, Imagining it being underwater and your lungs are filling with water slowly and you just like you try to breathe but there is only water going in. Alright, let's start with the makeup. So to make my skin look like I'm already rotting in water, I'm starting with a very pale base. It's the HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base by NYX Cosmetics. Then I'm placing Kryolan TV paint stick in the color 00, which is basically white, all over my face in small dots. I'm going over that with Essence Camouflage 2-in-1 Makeup and Concealer Foundation in the color Ivory. This is the lightest color and it has a yellow touch to it, which is really good for that whole water corpse image. So now I'm going into the entire face with my fingers uh, using some colors that kind of happen when people are dying in water then they start to like change their facial color. I'm using four shades of NYX Cosmetics Lit Lingerie Matte. I'm using them because white, like a matte white, will give me highlights, it will give me the chance to look even paler and even like bloodless. Okay, the violet shade and the green shade, I'm using them because I made very beautiful research on Google typing in water corpse real face. It was just wonderful and these are the colors that are happening basically on a face that is in water for a pretty long time. Dead. And this shade is my kind of transition shade and I will also do sort of a contouring with that shade to create some depth and some definition and it's just like a be actually a beautiful shade as a base for an eyeshadow. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so I think this is already a nice start for a water corpse look, but we have to go way deeper to make it real ugly and disgusting. So <clears throat> let's start with the eye makeup. I start by applying Vivid Brights by NYX Cosmetics in the color Vivid Halo. Then I go on top with it with a yellow eyeshadow by Kiko. Don't even think of the fallout, I'm just using it as a yellow kind of undertone on my skin. I'm going into my crease with the color Warm Taupe out of Anastasia Beverly Hills palette Modern Renaissance. I'm going deeper into the crease with the color Cypress Amber and I'm blending it out. I'm going into the crease again with a smaller and angled eyeshadow brush and a green eyeshadow by Kiko. Then I'm refreshing the yellow because it's already kind of fucked up from all the other stuff that I used. And I'm blending the green. For the lower eyelid I'm packing Anastasia Beverly Hills Warm Fresco on with a blending brush. And I also use this color to connect the lower and the upper eyelid. And I really go down with this shade as far as I want because, you know, I already drowned, so who cares? On top of Bon Fresco, I apply a violet eyeshadow by Kiko. I'm applying violet eye pencil on my waterline and I'm blending it out by using the same eyeshadow I used before. And to give even more darkness and definition to the look, I'm going over with my favorite eye pencil. Yay! 
Getting my dead and rotting eyelashes long and dark with the ultimate all-in-one mascara by Revlon. To top my eye makeup off, I'm using those soft and fluffy eyelashes. I used some setting spray on them before to get them a little bit more stringy. Alright, so I think what's really missing is some highlighting and some, uh, you know, some light spots on the face because I need to get some contrast to the dark stuff and to the rotten stuff and also to the eye makeup. So I will go in with the white liquid eyeshadow by NYX Cosmetics and blend it on with a sponge and then we'll see what happens next. Alright, I think to give the entire base some more pop, I will use my eyeshadow palette by Kiko. They are really practical, you can put them together yourself and it's not expensive at all. And I'm using some of these colors to just continue, you know, making my face pop and making it look a little bit more drowned and water corpsey. So I'm going over the lower eyelid again with the violet and I'm also dabbing the color on to all the violet spots that I created and the rest that is just in the brush I use it like a regular contouring color so by just using what is left in the brush it's not like it doesn't come out like as boom here is violet color on your nose but it comes out as a kind of undertone or kind of a softened violet color that just matches to the overall rest. So I think this is a good technique to create some more, um, you know, to make the colors pop some more. Yes. I was just like, okay, in the palette there is a shimmery blue. So why not use a shimmery blue as a highlighter? Yes, and I think this was a very good choice. Okay, shimmery blue eyeshadow as highlighter. You will see me again, even if it's not Halloween. Okay, I'm going on my lips again with this liquid eyeshadow. And I'm using the darker shade, ee, -E, blah, blah. And I'm using the darker shade also on my lips. Okay, and now I'm going on my teeth with this black, like, it's a lacquer for teeth. So, yeah. Ew. Okay, it's really hard to talk like that. Uh, see you in a second. Alright, so my teeth are rotten and disgusting, and to uh, continue the look, I'm using a Colourpop liquid lipstick in black uh -huh. and i just apply this on the inner kind of inner border of my lips and then i'm mixing them together and again i'm going in with the violet liquid eyeshadow mm. just to blend I blend the colors Bon Fresco, Antique Bronze and Warm Taupe together to create a snatched nose over my cream contouring. And then I'm just softly dabbing on some green eyeshadow from my Kiko palette into the violet eyeshadow on the lower eyelid. And you see what happens, everything connects. Okay, now I mix the frosty light blue, some green and some yellow on this brush and I show you a really funny trick to create some fancy lips. So you put them together as hard as possible and then you just press the eyeshadow on. It should be lighter colors than what you have on your lips. Mm-hmm. You press it on. And then when you open your lips, they do that. Isn't that cool? That's amazing, right? Okay, so we're getting to the finalizing, finishing touches. And I'm using a very small brush and some blue eyeshadow to create some veins on my face. Because this is also something um, that I saw 
while I researched these beautiful corpsey faces and they all have like veins on their face so I tried out some different techniques and I think this is an easy way to create veins on your face without being like a super special effects makeup artist so you just use a tiny brush and some blue eyeshadow that you have at home and you just go into the blue eyeshadows and paint on some wings and that's it All right, so I put my beauty mark on with my liquid lipstick by ColourPop in black. And um, <laughs> it's just weird to have black teeth. And now we will put the wig on. So for this look, the wig styling was really easy. I just uh, put her in the shower like she was. She was before a little bit more curly and nice, obviously. Um, I put her in the shower and I do that on the head because maybe you know the problem when the hair is coming through the lace in the front. If you put your wig on a head and pin it on the head and wash it just on the head, this doesn't happen anymore. And then I straightened it and dried it and used some wet look gel to create this kind of wet look because this is all we need as a water corpse. I want to put the wig on really far in the back. Usually I go like one centimeter in front of my hairline, but now I'm using it like really far up there. Just to create a very high forehead and to create a very very scary ghostly look. And then I just use hairpins to put these plants in my hair and then mix it together with the hair like that because she was in the water for a little too long okay I have no idea when this happened but something happened to my background and it was really not pretty um, whatsoever so this brings us to the finished look of my first personal <laughs> of my first personal fears so and if you like this look and you want to be a water corpse at one of your next Halloween parties then give me a thumb up and don't go into the water see you in my next video bye <laughs>